Hi everybody, this is Tina with Loving Life Little Blessings. Welcome to my craft room series. Today we're going to be talking about my desk. And I'm really very excited because lots of things have happened since last month. So if you're new to my channel, the third Saturday of every month I do a little craft room series. It's just like a little sneak peek into my craft room, what's been changing, um, what's been happening. And so today I want to talk to you guys about my desk. I got lots of questions about this. Uh, it's usually the questions I get the most about my room um, center around my desk. And there's a lot of things that changed with it this last month. So let's dive right in. We're going to start right here in this corner, and as you can see, those cubes are gone. So a lot of you guys commented, and I agreed, that having those stacked right there made the room, made it just look really cluttered, and I really agreed. I didn't really like them there, so I went ahead and moved them, and I moved them. Let me spin around here. I don't want to make you guys sick. I moved them back over here, so they're stacked over here. And I am planning on having something built to go right here that will house my scrapbooks and then we'll also have these. And I want these to be able to lay on their side so I can just pull them out easier. But that's not going to happen until spring. So let's come back over here to my desk and show you what happened. So first I found these amazing chairs. Um, I've always wanted my desk to be counter height. The problem with that is then you have to find chairs that work with that height and it's very difficult to find comfortable chairs at that height and I've looked now for a good year I've been looking for chairs that were the correct height their bar stool height but that were comfortable so I wanted one that had a good size bottom part of the chair where I could stick a pillow a good back no arms and the chairs that I would find were very expensive. We're talking like $120 um, are the chairs that I found that I liked. And I really didn't want to spend that much. These chairs I found at a little boutique and they were $10. I got two of them. And I am going to paint them, um, but that's just going to come later. So I was able to get these probably about... Um, it was, I'm filming, it was probably about two weeks ago and we're at the beginning of November what I'm filming. So that was awesome. So immediately I came home and I said, okay, I want my desk raised. So over here in this corner is nothing's changed in that corner. It's still my ink pads, my scraps, my retired ribbon. It's still just very much what I work from. So then what we did is we tore the whole desk out, okay, and we... And we raised it up. So down here you can see, I'm going to try, maybe this one will be better. So you can see it's just boards. One is, the bottom part is up on its end and then there's a board on flat. I don't know what kind of boards they are you guys. Okay, my husband does, I don't. He just said this is what will work. So then right, it doesn't look pretty obviously. So what we're going to do is add molding. Um, or baseboard, something that's going to make it look more built in. And so the actual drawer, this actual drawer, sticks out a little bit, like a quarter of an inch, hangs over that board so that I can then attach something that will look prettier, okay? I really wasn't worried about how it looked, I just wanted it higher. So now it is at counter height, which is amazing. I can stand to work. Um, which I really prefer to do a lot of the time. I really prefer to stand. So my desk is made up of Alex drawers from Ikea. Um, I have four of those. And then the tabletops also came from Ikea. You can go right to my coordinating blog post by clicking at the link that's above, right on the top of this video. That will take you to the coordinating blog post and I will have all of the items listed and linked so that you can find them if you're looking for them. Okay? So... Underneath, this is where I work. So this is my work area where I film. My camera usually attaches right there and I film right there and then I do all of my creating and working right there. Then down at the end is where I have my computers and my computer and my computer screens and that's where I do all my computer work. 
So down below, nothing really changed down here. I just lifted my 12 by 12. This is just old 12 by 12 paper. I put it up on this cube and then that's my Stampin' Up 12 by 12 paper and then just some miscellaneous items, my Simply Scored, an extra trimmer. Um, what else is in there? Uh, just a few other things. And then in the drawers, I am pretty sure that I have shared with you guys what's in the drawers, but I'll just go ahead and do a quick overview. This is my Claire Blocks, my Memento, and Stays on Ink, and then a few of my tools. Right down next is All Adhesive. This is Backstock Adhesive. This is adhesive that I use all the time. Staples and then extra blender pens. The next drawer down is all boxes, bags, tags, anything like that. And then in the very back are some extra Baker's Twine. This is my working on drawer. So like this is November's Blendabilities Club stuff. It's kind of where I stick things when I'm working on it. The bottom drawer on this side are all my reinkers. They're in clear um, wood mount cases and they're just labeled neutrals, brights, and colors, subtles, regals, and then backups, and then retired. And I keep my heat tool and then my, my um, glue gun there. Over on this side, the very top drawer is ribbon. And there's a little glass uh, dish back here and it just has wood elements in it. This is all current embellishments. There's some, um, trying to block the light. There's some like, there's googly eyes in here and just they're the most, um, and most of the embellishments that I use all the time and then all the current ones in the um, Stampin' Up! catalog. And then there's um, stickles. The next drawer down is washi tape. It's just in a big box and I just dig through it and look for what I need. And then there's masks and uh, piercing mats. The next one down is just storage. So I have a whole bunch of clear um, boxes and then Project Life boxes that I'm not using. There's a little box down there that has like tags and ribbon and stuff that come off things that I just throw in there. And then the very bottom is retired product that I do for give or it's not all retired, but most of it is retired and stuff that I use for giveaways or customer appreciation, that kind of thing. Here is the shelf that my husband built me. It actually works just like stamp and storage. Uh, storage units work as the exact same concept. I My husband built this for me about six years ago when there was no stamp and storage. And as I became a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I had the punches and the stamp sets and um, I was doing things, my Cricut cartridges actually used to set where my stamp sets are right now. Um, I just asked him to, to design me something that I could fit certain things on. And um, so that's what he did and it sits on top of my desk. I used to, the cubby holes were designed specifically for some things that I don't use anymore. Like one cubby was designed, this cubby down here was specifically designed to hold my trimmer. Obviously my trimmers aren't there anymore, but my punches ended up fitting on there perfect and my stamp sets ended up fitting on there perfect. And so that's what I have. Um, my stamp sets, I get asked this a lot. Um, the ones here at the end that the light is sitting on, those are Project Life stamp sets. They're specifically Stampin' Up! Project Life by Stampin' Up! stamp sets. And then if you look here, all my sentiments run first and they're in alphabetical order. All my sentiments go to about here. And then these are, this chunk right here are alphabet letters. Here are background stamp sets and they just go alphabetical. So with each new category, then they uh, go continue alphabetically. So these are background stamp sets and then starts all of my stamp sets that are current in the current catalog. Down here are my Christmas stamps and I have one Christmas stamp that is up top here and that this stuff will be switched out when the occasion catalog goes live and I'll just put anything that retires. I really don't keep a lot of my retired stuff. You can see 
Um, there's a little chunk of retired stamp sets there, and those are ones, they're really just Christmas, holiday. And then I keep a little chunk of retired sets there. But for the most part, I really part with my stamp sets really easily. I just move on. There's always something new and, you know, fun to use, so I just don't tend to keep things that I don't really love. The very end of my desk here is all my work stuff. Um... That's a little box that has my catalog, my current catalog, and notes, and business stuff, current business stuff. I have two screens. So I have a, a large screen right here, and then I have my Mac uh, Book Pro right there. And it just sits on a, I've talked about this before, it just sits on an old paper towel holder that you would attach to the wall and the paper towels hung from it and it just happens to be the perfect height so I just have both screens and it's because I do editing where I'm editing videos and photos and stuff so it works better for me to have two screens underneath here is the top drawer is old stamp sets that I need to get rid of the middle drawer is all the cards that I have they're just stuck in there they're not filed in any particular order they're just when I make cards and I have extras I just stick them in that basket and then the very bottom is full of adhesive it's extra ATG gun refills it's just a ton of adhesive and then right here is just business stuff so my printer is two shelves down um, the top one has just has some household stuff, some business stuff, and then I have a filing system right there that has business stuff, customer stuff, and then I have some binders and stuff. Real simple. Under the middle part of my desk is all of my 8.5 by 11 card stock. I got these at Office Depot. I got them online. And they're just little filing systems. The drawer down here, one of the drawers has vellum in it. Uh, one of the drawers down here is extra, so when I get extra things of paper, I just stick it down there, but then they're just all organized like that. I have shelves up above. The shelves are from Ikea as well. This is more decorative. My camera gets mounted right there, so it's more decorative. This here are retired stamp sets, as I mentioned, and then those binders are my... Um, clear photopolymer stamp sets that don't have cases and then the wood stamps that are up there are current stamps and then over here on this shelf is these clear baskets they're a dollar at Walmart there are back photos there's like 2013 photos there are photo D um discs like CDs that have photos on them there's some books it's just really nothing set in stone up above my desk so in the drawers here, this top drawer is for my planner stuff. So I have um, planner stuff that I do for my planner, planner decorating. And then comes all the bags. So here's nine, and, nine by 11 bags from Stampin' Up. This is all envelopes. The next drawer down are clear bags for packaging. And then the next drawer down is more clear bags. That's odd size bags. And then on this side of the desk, it's all office stuff. So this is tax stuff, planner stuff, pens, sticky notes, stuff that I access regularly. This is, you know, you can see just office stuff, pens, staplers, calculators. Down here, same thing, office stuff, business cards, a few tools that I use, extra ink. The next drawer down is all my filming stuff, so cameras, cords, SD cards, my label maker, my cord for my camera, extra batteries, and then the bottom drawer is really nothing. It's just some back stuff that I have to go through and sort. I'm hoping maybe to have my desk area be a corner desk at some point, but I'm not really sure. For right now, this it is what it is and it can't be. So I just have to have it this way, which is okay. Um, I made some adjustments when we tore the desk out and raised it, and it's a little bit better down here. So that's been good. So that is my desk, you guys. I really um, love having it higher. It has really worked out. I love having both chairs. I have one down at my computer area and then one down on, at my working area. And then already I've worked in here a full day 
and it has been so much better having the desk raised and at counter height where I can stand and it was a super easy fix. Um, I really love the Alex drawers. They are amazing for crafting and I have just loved how much space I've had. So it was really important to me when I was designing my desk area to have storage that worked. So that's why I chose the Alex drawers because for one thing they are the exact length of a tabletop. So they are exactly the width that you need for the tabletop. And what we did is because this is a stucco wall because it was the outside of our house, this garage was added onto our house. What we did is, my husband did, is he screwed this board right into this wall so that everything would go straight. It would be level against that back wall. And it also gave me an inch and a quarter, I believe, or an inch and a half of space. And because my shelf sits right there, it doesn't matter. Like nobody really sees back there. And then it also gave me a way to have a plug that came up here. So if I use my heat gun or my glue gun I don't have to get down on the ground to plug it in I have a plug right there and then it also plugs my lights in because when I film or take photos I do all of that right here so that it was really important to me to have good storage and a good desk space and so that is why I chose the Alex drawers and I knew that wanting them to be they weren't the right height for counter for counter height but I knew that the drawers would work for the space that I needed so I always just figured well we can always build something or work out the height so that's why I did that it's really important if you're designing your a space and you're trying to figure out what furniture you want think about the most important things and for me the most important things for me were it happened to be storage and how I would store things and be able to put things away and so that's why I chose the Alex drawers and then when we were building stuff we actually just used the liquid nails to set the drawers onto the platforms that we built because I didn't want anything drilled into the drawers I felt like the counter, t the tops, were, they were only like $19.99 or $24.99. They were really inexpensive. And so I felt like I'm willing to sacrifice those if for some reason we ever have to pull this out and move or something. But the Alex drawers, I didn't want damaged in any way. I didn't want holes put in them. I didn't anything like that because they, they are $80 a piece. And so anyways, that's something to keep in mind if you're designing a space and the Alex drawers work great to just set on the floor and put one of these tops on because they're it's perfect for sitting at it's the perfect desk height. So anyways, there'll be measurements on my blog for the shelf that my husband built and also what kind of wood it is because I don't really know. So I'll get that information from him and I'll put that up. I know a couple people have asked for measurements and what wood it was that he used. Um, so I'll put that up and then links to all of the products that you see and what I purchased to create this space. So thanks guys for coming by. I hope that you're enjoying seeing these um, videos. I would love to know if you guys think that looks better with just these um, units right here under the window with no, uh, none of those other things stacked there. And I'd love to know if you guys have any suggestions on what I should do with this 12 by 12 paper. So I have it. I'm not thrilled with it being right there. I really would love that crate to not be there so I could put my feet on that footstool under there. But I'm just out of options. So I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on what I could do with that. So thanks guys for coming by and I'll be back again with um, awesome projects next week. Thanks guys.